Hey guys, what's up? It's Dennis from Dennis World of Bodybuilding. Have a great evening. It's Sunday evening right here in Germany. Not evening, it's pretty much night, 12.45 a.m. And yeah, I wanted to say that congratulations to all the athletes at the Mr. Olympia. I already posted the top 15, but I separately wanted to talk about Ruli Winkler because um, Ruli had a lot of setbacks in his career and a lot of people wrote him off, okay? Because they said, you know, you're way too big now. You're out of shape. Um, you have mass, but you don't have the structure to be a top elite professional bodybuilder and everything. And he worked hard. He never bad-mouthed any people. He never threw shots at people. He never... Um, said any bad words about any other athlete or something else in the industry or anything like that. He just did his thing, worked, smiled, interacted with fans, many, many fans at the Expos and worldwide. Everywhere he made his way into the history books of bodybuilding. He not only got third at the Miss Olympia, but she also won the fans, you know, the Miss Olympia People's Champions Champion Award. Um, when I first saw a picture with the belt, I was like, you know, I didn't read that Olympia title. I was like, okay, is the WWE again with the, you know, wrestling for, uh, with the bodybuilding federation? Because there was an era where, you know, at Jay and Ronnie's time, I would say. Um, for example, Triple H hosted the contest or backstage um, footage and everything like that. So wrestling was definitely involved and wrestlers with the Mr. Olympia. So I was like, okay, maybe, you know, maybe the People's Champion Award is sponsored by them or, or something like that, okay? But they, it seems like the Mr. Olympia contest itself gave a boxing slash wrestling type of belt, but doesn't matter. The people voted for him because the fans love him. The fans love his attitudes, his freakness, everything like that. I was at the FIBO this year and he was surrounded by many fans, really a lot of fans, because even if you don't know the name or the athlete, he really stands out because he is such a freak. He's not that tall, but he's such a freak. You have to see him in off-season walking around. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. And he really st you know, stands out. And women seems to love him too. I saw a lot of women at the expo, you know, um, wanting to have a picture with him, talking to him because... He's a charismatic dude, no no joke, you know. He seems to be a very charismatic dude. Especially for the bodybuilding interested women, of course. But that was just, you know, that was just a side information. Congratulations to Ruli, third place and people's champ. So somewhere he won in the heart of many fans, or the majority of fans, he won. And he's the favorite for us fans. And other than that, third place. What an amazing accomplishment. I wouldn't, you know, I have to be really honest. I didn't do a top six prediction this year. Maybe I should have done one. But I wouldn't I wouldn't think that, you know, he would get top three. I definitely wouldn't have him in my top three prediction, to be honest. I, I thought about the top six and I had really on six before the contest, of course. But that's crazy. What are your thoughts about Ruli and the whole People's Champions Award? You know, the funny thing or the, you know, little artful thing is that I didn't read anywhere or saw anywhere that they, you know, the People's Champ got money. So I thought, okay, they will definitely give him like 10 or 20 grand, probably more like 10 to 15 grand, like a best polo award or something at the Arnold's, but it seems like they didn't give him anything. 
So it was just a non-monetary award, which doesn't mean it's nothing, but you know, I just thought like, okay, they maybe give him a little check, so to say, but doesn't make the accomplishment any smaller. I wish you all the best. Subscribe to my channel. I'll do a many videos about Olympia. Maybe I, if I do some videos and I'm like, okay, this is just too much. I'll maybe do a one hour or 30 minutes, I don't know, podcast. And you'll you'll listen to that like you'll, you'll listen to radio or something like that. So I wish you all the best. Bye.